today I'm gonna show you my little subnet scanner. Um, you can scan your subnet on available hosts which are online right now and you just need to type in your subnet like this and press scan and now it goes uh, through all the IP addresses available in your subnet. So when it's done it looks like this and uh, well, five phones, hosts found, and you can see the IP address here, the host name, and of course online or offline. And for example, I made some nice options here, where you can show the info of some hosts, uh, OS, mainboard, BIOS, etc. And yes, but this only works if you have administrator rights on this machine, so this is my machine, I can reboot it, shut down or power off and yes, this is my tutorial now on how to do this in C Sharp so this is how it looks in Visual Studio and yep, to show you the code so I just created this function here where I get the string from our text box here. This is our uh, first uh, three octets from our net. And I set some variables here which will be used later. This is not important now. And here's the important part. I start at <coughs> address 1. Uh, you can see here how I combine uh, the string from the here and subnet n which is created here point uh, plus the number we are looping so here it creates uh, my IP address and changes the last octet until 255 which is actually broadcast but it doesn't matter I set a timeout of 900 so I don't have to wait if maybe one host takes forever I don't know so uh, 900 milliseconds is a good time and if I get a uh, reply uh, status of success in my ping I will pass the IP address from our created uh, IP address with the right number and the last octet and I will get uh, the host name and here I uh, add our subnet or our IP address, uh, the host name of the IP address, and yeah, the status up for online. If it's not working, of course, error message. So, this is basically all what I'm doing. Uh, I won't go into the Windows queries for uh, system shutdown, reboot, and all this. So, just about this part here from scanning. So to do this, you just create a new project. I'll start this again. In C sharp, of course. Uh, yeah, just name it subnet scan, whatever. Um, this is okay. Take two buttons for scan and stop like this one text box where we can input our IP address and yeah, take another text box for displaying our found hosts uh, select multiline in this case and drag it a bit bigger so we can read more later uh, name as you want, I name it text uh, IP. Uh, my scan button, I will call it scan uh, stop stop and here are hosts mm. hosts. Okay, that's good. So now click on the start button, and we will first create our function. And call it scan with the string. Yeah, 
subnet, whatever. And before we go on, we need to include some helpful stuff using system net. No mistype here. System. Uh, what else? Check information using system. Was it? Uh, of course, uh, threading. Oh. Okay. And now we start with variables for our ping to store it later. Ping. Ping reply, reply, IP address, yeah, address, call it whatever you want, IP host entry, host. And now we start our for loop. Uh, I is set at 1, so we start in the first address and not at 0. Uh, we loop until I. <coughs> every loop as long until i is smaller than 255 so we avoid to scan the broadcast address and yeah increment that's okay No, of course I'm sorry. And now we start with our string. I call it subnet n. The string is point for setting the point and now the first octet i to string. This will create our address later. My ping. Set a new ping. Class and now a reply is my ping that sent and now the address we set our string subnet from the function plus uh, subnet n and now we have uh, reply reply now we have set our ping for scanning and if our reply uh, status uh, is successful. We successfully scanned one host and can insert it to our list or text box or wherever. Uh, replay? I don't understand why replay all the time. Reply. Okay. Now try catch. our address now we need to pass the IP address from our strings subnet plus subnet n now we will get our host name take dns get host <coughs> entry and of course from our past IP address address and now we just need to uh, put these values into our text box which we created so append text uh, yeah subnet n subnet plus subnet n plus um, yeah our host name so host dot Sorry, plus host dot host name to string plus up. So now it will write down the data into our uh, text box, and we need of course, we need of course, uh, our buttons to start all this. So 
Uh, in order to scan and write the addresses onto our text box, we need a new thread. So just create thread, my thread, whatever. Set it to null. Like this. And on the start button, you will just uh, start this thread. My thread is uh, a new thread. And we will just start in this our new function. So we do it like this. Yes, a scan function with a text IP from our text box dot text. Now it uh, runs our function in a new thread. So now we just need to start this thread like this. And if my thread is alive, just set some stuff for our buttons to make it look a little bit better. Our stop button is now enabled. So we can click stop. Our scan button uh, is now uh, like this, yeah. Not visible, but <coughs> not clickable. And our text box for the IP is also not enabled now. Okay. And of course, we need our stop button. We do the same thing. This is to cancel this uh, thread which we started. Uh, I know it's not the best way on doing this and yeah, maybe it's not working 100% uh, with the suspend uh, method but yeah, if you have another solution I'm glad to hear this of course so also here the same uh, with my buttons uh, Textbox IP enabled now again true. So that's all. So one thing we also have to do, which is not a nice method to do, but uh, we write from a foreign or from a different uh, thread into our main thread when we append uh, our text in our main form in our main window. And actually, it's not a good way to do this but right now I don't have a better solution and you can just ignore this error or no, it's not an error but you can just ignore this if you type control check for illegal uh, cross thread calls and this set to false it will not crash or something it's just not a good way to do this but it's working so I will stop this now and check if it's really working. So my subnet is this one and I click our start button. So I will skip this because we started at address 1 and my hosts start at uh, 100 uh, in the last octet so I skip this one second. So I found already some hosts well, this is my uh, computer, which is the IP address, uh, host name, and yeah, status up. Uh, of course, this looks pretty shit. We uh, should, yeah, you can do this a little bit nicer, maybe, and then you will see it is working. And yes, I hope I explained all right. I don't know, maybe I skipped some things, but just ask in the comments and yeah